Hello, and welcome to Ruben Uncut. I actually have no idea how long this episode is going to be. I think it might be short. But today's episode, because I feel like the message of today's episode is fairly succinct, okay? Because ultimately, here's the thing. Don't fucking punch people in the throat. That's the, that's the, that's the pre-synopsis of what we're gonna be talking about today. Okay? All right, some two things you need to know about me and my background. First of all, I do comedy. Uh, mostly improv comedy, but occasionally when I'm not being lazy as fuck, I do some stand-up. And some people think this podcast is funny. I don't know what's wrong with those people, but you know, we're here to, we're here to play. Now, the other thing about my background that you need to know is that I have a black belt in Ishinu Karate, which is, for those unfamiliar, is a mixed mar- is a mixed karate style based on Shorinru and Gojinru. I don't know if you really need to know that, but the point is, is that I understand dismembering a human being with my hands. It's something I was trained to do. It's something I basically understand. A fun fact, it only takes about two pounds of pressure to break your rib. Now, I know what you're saying. Ruben, if that was true, we'd break our ribs all the time. Well, your ribs work on the same physics that eggs do, you know, because there's all this shit in your body that keeps it from doing that. The actual bone is very is very fragile. Um, but yeah, no, you're probably not going to immediately break your rib with two pounds of pressure um, because your rib is not outside your body. <clears throat> but... This isn't a physics lesson, and I don't know why I needed to tell you any of that. Here's the point. I have studied violence. And if there's one thing I've determined about our society is that we do not understand nor respect violence. Now, when I say respect violence, I don't mean that we should view violence as like this philosophically valuable thing for ending conflict. It should be the last level of conflict resolution uh the absolute last if you can talk your way out of something for the love of god fucking do that don't go to violence immediately i've seen a lot of these videos on the internet of high school kids fighting each other and i have two thoughts on that one high school kids don't know how to throw a punch worth a shit uh no one has ever taught these people how to punch uh which is probably good because they're too willing to fucking punch each other They punch like little bitches, just their arms flailing around like nothing. I'm not going to explain how to throw a correct punch because I don't want you punching each other. But it's not like this, okay? Now, you know what? I shouldn't have told you that. Keep punching like that. Uh, But a thing I would like high schoolers to stop doing is the pick up and slam technique. Uh, I understand that MMA has made this very popular, but in MMA, you're picking up and slamming a person into a mat. And those people have also been trained how to pick up and slam a person. If you slam a person into concrete floor and they hit their head, their neck, their spine in the right way, fuck it, you know? Your whole life's over. You're either a murderer or you paralyze somebody. You're a piece of shit now. Even if it was in self-defense, your life could be fucking over. Stop doing it, high school kids, you fucking morons. Please, stop it. Jesus Christ, you have no, high school kids literally have no idea in these videos how lucky they are to not be murderers. Uh, And to be fair, I haven't looked up how many people actually survive in these videos, but Jesus Christ, does no one in this society understand violence? And it's, and it's very fucked up. A good movie about this is, uh, uh, is Nobody. Uh, The Bob Odenkirk kind of, sort of, uh john wickish action comedy very good movie has a lot to say about toxic masculinity and violence highly recommend but i'm actually here to talk about an alarming trend in comedy a thing that has become uh weirdly uncomfortably common in comedy is a little something called the throat punch Now, I don't know if you know much about the throat punch, but the throat punch is when you punch somebody right in the fucking throat. This was a common move on Xena Warrior Princess, by the way. 
Um, although Xena Warrior Apprentice uh, was a little bit more realistic about it. What do I mean by it was a little bit more realistic? Is what I mean is that Xena would punch somebody in the throat. They'd stop being able to breathe, and then she would yank their throat back into position so they didn't die. Now, I don't actually know if the physics, I don't actually know anatomy well enough to tell you if that would save your life in that situation, but at least it implied a throat punch was a near lethal attack because I'm going to let you in on this. Throat punch is a game stopper. If throat punch done correctly, the fight is over. That's just it. It's done. You punch somebody in the throat hard enough, they're not getting back up. Now, it may seem like they're not dead because they're laying on the ground like get, like failing to breathe, but they're not getting back up. Um, if you do it correctly, uh, they need a tracheotomy to live. Uh, because the most one of the most dangerous things you can do in a fight is collapse somebody's windpipe. This is actually why choking people is so fucking dangerous. Now, a fun little fact about choking somebody. If you get somebody in a headlock, Best case scenario, you're cutting off the blood flow right here. This is what you're actually going for. I shouldn't be telling you this. I should not be telling you this. But this is how an appropriately done, like any type of choke move is. You're cutting blood off here. And as soon as they go limp, you let go or they'll die. Yeah, that guy on the subway who held that guy for 15 minutes, he should go to jail. Just saying, he should go to fucking jail because you, you can't hold someone in that move for 15 minutes. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's gonna cut off blood flow to your brain in like in like a minute. Holy shit! The second that person goes limp in that move, you gotta let go. There's a reason in wrestling when and MMA when they do that move, the ref the ref is looking for that person to go unconscious because they know they need to end the move. But no, some dumb fuck just uh, decided that the best choice for that was to hold a guy in that move for 15 fucking minutes like a total fucking moron end up killing the guy. A lot of people have defended it as self-defense, but I gotta tell you something. If you hold a guy in a choke lock for 15 minutes, it's no longer self-defense, it's fucking murder. Okay? He is gonna lose blood to his brain very quickly. Now, that being said, that is the safer way to choke a person. What? How could that possibly be the safer way to choke a person? Because if you take your hand like this and you press it against someone's throat and you choke them manually like this, you might be cutting off this part, depending on how big your, your hands are, but more likely you are constricting the actual windpipe. Now, two things about this. It's gonna take a lot longer for them to run out of oxygen. However, if you do this hard enough, you're also going to collapse the windpipe. And once you do that, it might not matter if you let go. Once you do that, like I said before, you need a tracheotomy to live. Now, if you're lucky and I'm wrong about anatomy and you can just pop that thing back into place like Warrior Z Xena Warrior Princess, uh, might want to try that. But yeah, no, collapsing the windpipe is a finisher. It's how you end a fight. Don't believe me. Watch this clip. Common question is, what's the go-to move in self-defense? Yada, 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 yada. Right? We all want magic answers. And of course, you know, there are no such thing as magic answers. I want to disabuse you of that idea. But there are simpler, more pragmatic answers you can get to. Old school neck punching is about as good as you're going to get. Whenever you're throwing your hands against this, your neck gets strong. The trap gets strong. Your sternocleidomastoid gets strong here and here and here. But not right here. That Adam's apple is wide open territory. And also, no matter how strong this gets, these shots on the side, they mean something. So without actually hit, hitting Dan, we need to do short, flippy little shots to do this. So we're talking about this guy's a costly. Bro, you're going to put that right in there. And I'm pulling these, obviously, because I love this guy. But it could be, it doesn't matter what hand is throwing the shot. It's also just a good boxing is to be best when you're doing these things in combination. Quick shots at the throat, multiple shots at the throat. Man, that's a better thing to get. Now I want to draw your attention to something. This this episode is called is titled this short is titled "Vicious Throat Shop Ends Fight Instantly," because if done right, it will. Now I don't know much about this guy. He seems to do self defense here, but he's right. If you are being attacked by a person much bigger and stronger than you, this is how you can end it: punch him in the throat. It's a vicious, effective self-defense move that will completely undermine the size 
any size differential between you and your opponent. Now, to be fair, you still need to be able to reach the throat. But if you can, and it's not going to take much, it will not take much. Why do I, how do I know it won't take much? Well, let me take it. Okay, do this right now. Do this right now. Take your thumb. Take your thumb and press it into your throat gently. Also, if you notice, he wasn't actually hitting that guy in the throat. And he wasn't throwing real punches. And he's doing that on purpose. Why? Because like you said, he loves that guy. And if he was going to really punch him in the throat, it's not a thing you do to people you love. Okay? Just, just know that. Okay? Now, why am I a little upset about this? Because I've noticed a trend. A trend in comedy that this has become a go-to physical comedy move. And I think that that needs to, and I think that that's fucking stupid. Okay, so the Looney Tunes approach to violence is, you know, it's a cartoon. Only the dumbest people are going to be negatively influenced by it. However, this shit is basically going fucking viral. Here's a sketch made by people who should probably know better. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Who's ready? Oh. Uh, uh, Throw punch Thursday, bitch. <laughs> now you may have noticed that the guy's shirt said throat punch donor. Ugh. But and the lot and the description is there's always someone in need of a throat punch donor. Uh, there's always someone in need. Be a throat punch donor. Don't do that. Do not fucking do that. This is made by a group called Grunt Style. Let's see, are they cosplayers or are they actually what is military Patriot? people? Grunt Style is a highly motivated group of veterans and patriots. Okay. Okay. These are people who should know better. These Anyone who's a veteran should know better than this. You are fucked up in the head, okay? You are you literally have been trained in violence and you don't respect it. This is not respecting violence. This is disrespecting violence. Like Jesus Christ. You shouldn't be encouraging this. It's not good. Oh, but Ruben, satire. Satire of what? What, what do you mean? Sat do you know what satire means? The idea that it's funny to punch people in the throat. Uh, not cool. You see this thing behind me? This is a fucking Pinterest thing. When I was trying to get it, when I was trying to get a fucking image for this, I was alarmed by how many things came that came up that said throat punch donor, throat punch Thursday, throat like. Motherfucker, no. You are literally encouraging stupidity. Like the dumbest shit possible. I I just they're they're veterans. They should know better. They should did is they do they not teach you how dangerous this movie is in the military? Is that something that is only reserved for like karate teachers? Like, how do you, you know, this is not a legal move in MMA, by the way. Last I checked, this is not a legal move. Um, could be wrong. I, I, it's been a while since I checked, but last I checked, this was not a legal move. Maybe it's a legal move now. It shouldn't be. It really fucking shouldn't be. Oh, my God. However, this has made its way into a lot of comedy lot of comedy. So I'm going to show you some clips that I'm not happy about. This is from this year's Jennifer Lawrence comedy, No Hard Feelings, uh, a movie about parents hiring an adult woman to take their 19-year-old son's uh, virginity. I think he's 19. I'm fairly certain he's legal. But there's a scene in the movie where this happens. Get away from her! Stay. Oh, oh, fuck! 
Then there's this movie. And uh, let me be clear. You know what? I'm going to show you the whole trailer for this movie because I fucking hate it. Did you see the throw punch? Did you see it? Did you catch that? Yeah, not good. Not good. Re, re, uh, problematic. I'm sorry, what? Parking lot. After school. It's on. Teachers don't fight. I want everybody to see this. <laughs> Hashtag teacher fight. Who else knows about this? I don't need to be liked. I need to educate. I just don't know the first thing about fighting. Make a fist. Are you serious? This is the 1700s? Hambo! Maybe the best thing to do is just run. Ah! I never said nothing about no running. Did you see? Did you see Ice Cube punch the bigger guy in the throat? Who is you, Sea Biscuit? Flex. I am flexing. There's nothing there. Why don't you just take a punch and then just go down? Play dead like possums do or anything that's like a, like a pussy animal. Gamble! 911, what's your emergency? There's a crazy guy at my high school. He's trying to beat me up. If you have a problem with a bully, I need you to speak to a teacher. I am a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> You're a grown man. Now go on and take that ass whooping. <laughs> Terrible police officers. Terrible. I just I fucking hate this movie. This movie is terrible trash. I noticed that the throw punch from the preview to the trailer is not in the actual trailer. Um, I'm going to do just a quick mini review for the movie Fist Fight. The movie Fist Fight is trash. Like, okay, the movie Fist Fight's problem is this. It is a movie that doesn't understand that its core premise and concept only works in a dark comedy, but it wants to be a mainstream comedy where characters, quote unquote, learn lessons. Uh, what's, what's the lesson that is to be learned? Well, the Charlie Day's character needs to man up and, 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 and stand up for himself by getting into a physical altercation with another adult man who, side note, the whole movie Ice Cube is saying to Charlie Day, you got to prepare yourself for consequences that you have to deal with consequences. He talks about consequences all the time, which is wild because there are no consequences in that movie. Like literally the ending happens and everything just goes back to the way it was, except now Charlie Day's more confident. It's fucking trash. Like there are zero, like the, the scene where he chops a desk in half with an ax, that's in the movie. And like he suffers zero consequences for that behavior. The police la laugh at an assault victim? Like, that's not, like, that's bad policing. It's a bad movie. It's trash. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Absolute garbage. And I like Charlie Day. I like Camille and Johnny. But that movie fucking sucks. It's bad. If you laughed at it, you're a bad person. Sorry. Just, just the facts. Just the facts. You're a bad person if you laugh at that movie. Oh, it's so fucking bad. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I wasn't done with clips. Cash. Yeah, cash would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Sandy Bigelow Patterson. Yeah. Bigelow's such a rare name. Well, it's a family name, you know. It uh, goes back to the Mayflower. Is that right? Yeah, Jeremiah Bigelow. You maybe have heard of him, pretty, pretty prominent bear hunter. Sounds brave. Kind of a big deal. Here's my license with my name right there. Sandy Bigelow Patterson. Gotcha. But here's the movie that started me on this tangent. I saw this trailer recently, and I'll be honest, the movie looks fairly funny. But it features a sequence that I hate. 
nuance way than that. Oh, oh, you just hit a woman! I apologize for him. I, for one, would never... <laughs> oh, 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 my God! So you I've hit hypocrite. one woman. That's not in the grand... <laughs> For everyone who couldn't tell, that was five throat punches. We just saw five throat punches. This movie is called Please Don't Destroy, which actually is bullshit. The movie is called The Treasure of Foggy Mountain, but they don't know how to market it. So they put the name of the group in the title. I mean, I guess that's fair. Monty Python's The Holy Grail. But, you know, the real title is technically the subtitle. The movie looks fairly funny. But we just saw five throat punches. Five fucking throat punches. Five, that, that's too many throat punches. And on the same people, too. Like, and if you hadn't noticed, people recovered fairly fast. Also, you wouldn't vomit if you got punched in the throat. Why would you vomit if you got punched in the throat? I, I don't know what would cause that reaction. There's, I, I, maybe you have a really sensitive gag reflex, maybe. I don't, I don't know. But the actual response to getting punched in the throat is not being able to breathe. At least those fucking grunt style people understood that that guy would be laying on the ground not being able to, having trouble breathing. Okay? So I cannot, I cannot emphasize this enough. No matter how many times you've seen in a comedy, this is a fatality. This is the final move. This is the finisher. This is the part in a Mortal Kombat game where the person doesn't get back up. This is the one that requires you to hit like 16 to 17 different fucking button inputs for no goddamn reason just to see the animation. That's this move. That's this move. Okay? Don't fucking throat punch people. Not that hard. It's not that fucking hard. I mean, unless unless you are fleeing through your life. If you're fleeing through your life from an attacker who's much larger than you, then yeah, no. Throw punch that person. But don't throw punch people as a gag. Throw punch Thursday is fucking horseshit from people who have antisocial personality disorders and shit like that. It's psychopathic. It's sociopathic. It's garbage. It has no respect for violence. And don't get me wrong. Violence is something that you need to have a certain level of respect for. And the more I look around our society, the less I see that. Our society does not respect violence. It glorifies violence. And there's a very big difference between glorifying violence and respecting violence. A uh, favorite, favorite director of mine, who I'm sure many of you will get tired of me talking about, uh, Zack Snyder has made the comment that, yeah, he made the violence in his superhero movies feel real because he thinks that it's actually worse when you don't, when you pretend like violence is fun, like people aren't dying, which is stuff the Avengers movies do all the time. Like, look at the very first Avengers movie. Do you honestly believe that those buildings were empty? You, you remember the, the buildings that all the alien spaceships crashed through and stuff? You do know that there are literal shots in the movie showing there are people in those windows. Yeah, no. But the movie never emphasizes it, never focuses on it. Instead, we're too busy hearing Captain America make jokes. Violence is horrific. People die in violence. I'm not saying you can't enjoy a little violence. Lord knows I love an action movie. But please, please, for the love of God, understand that violence has real consequences. I saw a video the other day. I'm not going to pull it up because I can't remember where I saw it. But basically, it was a guy uh, who he catches some person keying his car, and then he goes out and starts attacking him. Now, the guy throws punches like an absolute bitch, like doesn't know how to punch for shit. I mean, he's winning the fight, but it's not really my point. My point is the comment section was full of people who said the guy should have gotten worse. Look, I understand wanting to beat a person up first key in your car that's a fucked up thing to do but the question you may need to ask yourself is do you understand violence and is uh somebody keying your car worth you going to jail for murder or manslaughter aggravated murder aggravated manslaughter doesn't matter doesn't even matter what your intentions are 
that's why we have manslaughter laws. Because you may not have had the worst intentions, but you still fuck somebody up. And society says that's not acceptable. Because, you know, violence is meant to be the last possible solution. And our society doesn't seem to understand that. And that's a problem. Because a society that doesn't respect violence is a society that misuses violence. And that's a problem. That's a problem for everyone. So I guess what I'm saying is, comedians, stop writing shit where you punch people in the throat. God damn. It's not that funny. What happened to kicking people in the balls? I mean, you, you survive getting kicked in the balls. But Ruben, we can't punch women in the balls. Yeah, you can. Punch them in the vag. It's it's non-lethal, and it's it's got some comedy to it. Getting kicked in the balls, comedy. Those things are comedy. They're unpleasant. They're but you don't need a tracheotomy after somebody punches you in the balls. Oh, that might make you throw up. All right, well, thank you for uh, watching or listening to, I mean, hopefully you watch this one because like you can't, you can't hear the sound of throat punching. Well, anyways, thank you for, uh, I mean, you can kind of hear it because they added noises. Actually, that self-defense guy was clearly, clearly adding noises. Um, but thank you for uh, thank you for watching or listening. Please follow on Spotify, uh, where all the content is, and please uh, like and subscribe on YouTube, where I'm slowly putting up as much of the content as I have. I have so much content, and it takes forever to put it up on YouTube because a lot of it was not made with video intentions, and I I still haven't figured out the best solution to to get non-video stuff to get noticed on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, uh, please, uh, if you want to talk to me or you disagree with my stance on throat punching, you fucking psychopath, please feel free to email the show at rubenuncut at gmail.com. Have a wonderful whatever. And uh, anyone who celebrates Throat Punch Thursday um, is the first person that needs to get punched in the throat. Actually, you know what? If you're going to celebrate it, punch yourself in the throat. Do everyone a favor if you think that's a day worth celebrating.